Okay everybody, I thought I'd do a little video here of what I've been doing with the uh, Mr. RC Sound modules uh, Pro Version B and a Budget Version A and some of their possibilities and the versatility of these two units to actually take two different types of versions and turn them into uh, one and different ways to mount them. Uh, the first plane I'm using here, I've actually got two. This is the FMS Focke 490 and I'm also going to be doing this on a version 7 uh, FMS P51 uh, Big Beautiful Doll. Both these planes are the 1400 millimeter size which is a good size for the Mr. RC Sound Unit due to its weight, uh, size, and its volume output. They're actually very nice units for the amount of money they are as opposed to some of the more pricier systems like the Bendini and um, the Model Sounds Incorporated Real Sound units. I actually have all three units I'm doing uh, kind of reviews on and looking at them and trying them in different planes but these Mr. RC Sound units are just about perfect for these 1400 millimeter and smaller size planes where the uh, requirements for some of the uh, larger size systems I was just mentioning about that require maybe an extra or a higher battery source kind of proved to be inefficient in these smaller planes to keep our wing loading down. Anyway, this is what I've done. This was the first setup and I've changed it a few times, but basically, here we'll get down here and take a look at this. This is my uh, budget A unit that has showed up yesterday from Andrew at RC Sound. And he's a great guy, real cooperative here, and I asked him to make a few changes on this module when he sent it to me, like I did on my budget, on my Pro B unit that I'll show you here in a minute. This is the sound card, A, and you have four selectable sounds. Four on an A and four on a B. And they're different, and then you order your cards depending on what kind of sounds you want. And normally these were on here, and then they're hard, they're, they were hardwired in. And I asked him to change all the, all the leads coming off all the electronic components for me to just standard, you know, 22, 26 gauge, 22 gauges preferred servo leads. So I've got male and females. On the sound card, what I wanted is two female leads. Now on an A version, it only comes it would it would only have one on it because you don't have a sound you don't have the gun card module, which would also be wired into this. And you can see here that I've he soldered these in for me in for me. He actually did this for me, but on my B unit I did it myself. Real simple, just ground wide and signal our ground power and signal and what I've done is I've taken two female servo type leads unplug this one here and that's the unit by itself now this thing is all compartmentalized it's modulized this right here would normally go to um, the receiver okay so you plug it this dish is what you would plug in your receiver to sync up your sound and dip switches to positioning to get your sound on an A module, like I said earlier, you're, you're only going to you, you would normally only have one lead coming off, going to the amplifier. I soldered a second lead on here because on the gun card that comes on the B on the Pro version of it, uh, I've done the same thing except that I have a female, a male coming off of it. So now I can take this card, and this is a B version, and I can plug it into this, or now I can plug it into the A card. And effectively, I've got two pro units. I can move my gun card to any airplane I want and only have one gun card if I want gun sounds on that particular airplane when I'm flying it. I've also done the same thing here, and I also asked him to do Velcro on these instead of the uh, sticky glue so I can remove these. Get this back here. Move the sound, we'll move the sound card off over here, get my leads away from it. These are just screw jack connectors to the speakers. Now the speaker is just all light and by itself. Normally it comes with this little cap on it, but now you can just take the speaker and mount it in a plane if you want, or use your maybe a different choice of speaker if you want and just screw it down to the jacks here, jack here. This would plug into the sound card module over here. The sound card module would then plug into your receiver into a Y channel, into your throttle, or into an aux channel, and then mix, if you have that capability, mix 
uh, you know, channel aux, whatever it is, six you happen to plug it into to your throttle channel to sync up the sounds, and I'll give an example in a minute. And also on this card here, when it's soldered back here, instead of the power lead, this is the voltage regulator card that would plug into the power. I would opted to uh, change these wires down to a smaller gauge wire, and I had Andrew do this for me on this A module he sent me. And I put JST connectors on them because they're small, lightweight. This thing has a very low amp draw and voltage draw. And I'm, I did the same thing here. I used a JST connector on it. And just keep the, the versions you put on your, the ends you put on your different versions the same so that you can move these from plane to plane to plane. So if I have ever, ever a problem with one burns up, I can, I can actually use it from the other one because I just simply unplug it and move it to the other one. Now the amp card is, is compart the amp card is compartmentalized. This is is now car compartmentalized for you those of you in the military or have had military maintenance training. Basically an LRU. Now these are line replaceable units. This is a unit, speaker's a unit, amp's a unit, the gun card's a unit, which are the three basic are three basic units of the uh, a mod of a a version, a B version, or a pro, or excuse me, a pro version would have a fourth unit, which would be a, a gun sound card, and just by adding in like this other lead right here and doing the same thing with the mating connector on the gun card, now you can plug your gun card into this module and now have it. Plus, if you want to change out airplane sounds. And you've got a B version in your plane, but you want, but you might want to try out the A version sounds. Now you can just simply move the A card over to your B plane, B version plane, and have the option of the additional four sounds here. So, basically, my Falk Wolf now, which I have the B version in, if I wanted to put, say, the Merlin in it for any reason, I can just pull that card, put this one in it, plug it in. And I've now got the option of those additional four sounds without having to buy an entire a unit just by changing out the card and vice versa from A to B. If you now you have the choices of eight sounds in the plane as opposed to just four, which gives you a little more versatility to his units and why they're so nice. Very lightweight, pretty powerful. I'll power this plane up in a minute and let you hear what it sounds like. I have actually mounted a speaker which is hot glued into the fuselage with a hole in the wing here. It's kind of hard to see down inside there and I don't want to take the wing off there's a little better view in a hole in the bottom of the wing and then we've covered it up I've got a metal mesh that's actually put into the bottom right there and it just rests up against the skin and then the speaker is down inside there when the wing comes off it just slips over the speaker Now instead of having to make a Y connector like what was originally being done and had been advised where you were making, you know, you got your ESC coming, your connector coming off of your ESC and I happen to be using XT60 connectors as my choice for this size of an airplane and voltage loads. I use EC5 for my larger ones. Here's the battery lead and then here's the lead coming off of the ESC. You would normally have to make a Y splitter so that you could plug in your ESC to your battery plus a lead coming off here that went to your voltage regulator card right here that was wired into it and plug it in. Now we don't have all this bulky, this happens to be 14 gauge wire and big bulkier connectors which got a little tight inside there. I take my ESC connector here and this is the way I've done actually all my planes get it down in here. But on the ESC connector You'll notice that I have two leads, just using standard 22 gauge servo wire. One of them, I put a JST connector on that goes to the voltage card, which is the sound system, which will power the sound system. And then I actually have a second one here because I'm using the external UBEC right here, and my UBEC plugs in the same way. This way, if I have a UBEC failure or something goes bad, I can also unplug my UBEC and plug in a new one real quickly and still be at the field using a separate UB. Uh, BEC. I've been doing this for years and I did the I basically did the same thing with the RC Mr. Sound System. It's hooked up the exact same way. Now I have a much smaller connector, more flexible, smaller wire, and it's not so crowded and cramped and harder to bend when I plug everything in here. 
So let me turn on my radio here and I'll go ahead and plug in the plane. Let me set down my camera here for a second. We'll plug in the plane here and get her fired up. Plug the Mr. RC sound system here. Okay, now that was, that's what would power my RC sound system. Get the camera back up here. This is normally would plug off the RC sound system. So now I can take this and plug this back together. Hard to do this holding the camera and try this again. Hold the camera and plug it all in here at the same time here. I'll plug in the RC sound system. Now my plane's all wired up. Now then, I've also by doing that I've also been able to bring my amplifier and mount it up underneath the hatch here instead of it all being ganged up down around the mod the speaker unit here. The uh, Pro B unit here, gun card here, and the voltage regulator. So I can kind of distribute where they put them in. It makes it a little nicer, tighter install when you're kind of when you've got a kind of confined space. The Falkwolf 190's kind of got a larger space on, but other planes will have different ways to mount it because of their fuselage design and tighter airs, which is what makes it kind of nice by doing it this way. But now I don't have so much wire crammed down into the hatch and it's easier to hook up and the only big wires I've got are coming off the battery and the ESC. Now on this particular plane I'm actually not using the Y cable because I had problems syncing it with my Futaba. Not necessarily a sound system problem, it's just more of a compatibility with my radio. So I have mine mixed to an aux channel and synced to the throttle. And I'll see if we can fire up here so that it comes on when the prop starts to work. And then, of course, then I've got my then the uh, gun sounds. Uh, plugged into an, a, another aux channel and you've got gun sounds for flight just a little added effect there now then on my when I put this a unit in my Mustang it wouldn't ha it wouldn't have sounds system with it but with making these little changes on here uh, I can now just unplug the sound module real quick from the receiver and from that connector and put it in the, put it in my uh, Mustang and now my what would normally have been an A version, a uh, budget A version, now becomes a pro B ver a pro version A, and I have gun sounds with my Mustang only using one gun sounds because you're only flying one plane at a time, and you don't have to have the card mount in there, and it's real easy to get to, real easy to access. Now I have easier access to my volume controls up here, any of the speaker connections, quickly change out sounds without having to dig down next to the speaker thing or take off the wing to change anything I just simply pop the hatch plus my weights further up here so that's what I've done you can take Pro A, Pro B take a uh, budget system as long as you've got a uh, gun sound card and all you really need to do is on the sound, on the sound card either version is I opted here and it, as long as they're mating and they're universal between versions I, I put females on my sound card. I put males on the mating cards and there you go. JST connector for the power in between the main power components there. Lighter weight, plenty sufficient for the amp draw that this thing pulls. No greater than 2 amps, closer to about 1, 1 1.5 even at full volume. Now they're lighter, flexible, you can put extensions on them if you need to stretch them out even further to, for a longer fuselage, depending on where you mount your speaker. And now you have a, a lot tighter little configuration here.
for the speaker that's included so you don't have to make such a big hole. Plus you can permanently mount this and leave it in your plane if your other plane already has a speaker in it and just move the, the modulized components to give your different configurations. So the versatility and availability between the two units is just remarkable and I'm very, I'm very impressed with it. So I've been playing around with this and this would actually apply to probably any of his products there. The Ultras, the, the Minis, his new twin volume which is something I've been wanting to try with and just a couple of units and then you can do all kind of things with them just by making the simple little few little mods and using the servo leads and spread them out and turn A's to B's and B's to A's, add gun cards, sound cards and so forth. Just a little quick simple soldering thing right there. So anyway, and Andrew, I hope that helps you. That's what I was talking to you about in the emails. So it's kind of what I did. This was main model. You did a great job. I added in the, the second pigtail lead on the sound card right here on the A. So basically this A version uh, budget is exactly like now my Pro B version and I can move these cards between the two airplanes and add a sound card simply just by plugging it in here and plugging it into the receiver and put guns on this as well and plus have I wanted the other live combing and Allison's I can move them between airplanes so real simple mod easy to add in adds a lot of versatility to your to your product there and I'm real pleased with it the sound is actually really nice for the size of the airplane I mean that's only one two inch speaker right there and it's plenty loud uh, powering it up and it sounds really really nice so looking forward to getting the one in the Mustang there I haven't started it yet but uh, that'll be a weekend project there and then also want to try one of your twin systems on this even though I've got two sound systems for the B25 I'm fixing to do here uh, I got the one from Canada coming I'm fixing to put in that because of the just because of the sound quality but I also wanted to try yours there because there's two beautiful spots right there on the nacelles for your speaker system and the two inch uh, which I've turned those into hatches would drop right in there and we could uh, try the twin sound system on that LX B25 like you did with your P38 Lightning so anyway hope you like what I did guys this is just another another way to configure and use the uh, Mr. RC sound systems that Andrew's got here and they're actually pretty nice like I said sound pretty good and I'll fire this up one more time for you to listen to this is the Falk Wolf 190 from FMS with the Pro B version sound, I think I have it set for the BMW sounds uh, right now and synced off of uh, an aux channel to the throttle so that the sound starts and then the prop starts. Perfect sync. Perfect sync. I'll get this up on YouTube, guys. Try to make some more later. Thanks a lot. Good product, Andrew. I'm very impressed.